Hi everybody, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I still have long COVID, so there will be little breaks in the video while I take out my coffin. <laughs> oh dear, uh, it's taking a long time to get over this. Uh, but anyway, there is still diamond painting and there is still little packages to unbox. So yay, this is what it's all about. Uh, this package has been sent to me by the lovely people at gbfke.com um, I have had it quite a while so huge thank you to them I did send them um, an apology that I was uh, too poorly to video and uh, they said get well soon and yeah whenever you're ready that's fine so yeah I'm ready now <laughs> okay so there is tall big paintings in this one so we have a 40 by 40, one of my favourite sizes at the moment in special drill. And then we have a huge one. This one is a 50 by 60 in special drill. So yeah, I'm loving all these huge special drill paintings that are coming out. Seems to be catching on a lot more. Was I a trendsetter? <laughs> No, I know a lot of people like special drill as well. Um, I do like my full drills and I have got a lot of full drill paintings as well. Um, but I just particularly like doing the special drills with all that sparkle. So before I start, there are quite a few special offers on at gbfke.com if you pop along to the website. Um, if you spend over $59, then your shipping will be free, which is always a bonus. And if you buy four items, then you will get one free and 6% off. Oh, I've just been joined by a very hot Millie Moo. She's just come to sit on my feet under the desk, which is probably not a good idea. Right, so I'm going to save the big one till last. And we're going to have a look at the smaller one. So I did actually start filming this video and got about 10 minutes into it and then realised I'd not pressed record. So this one has actually been opened once and shown once. <laughs> So the toolkit is actually here. <laughs> as I say, I've obviously got COVID brain as well as um, long COVID. So yeah, uh, well, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it anyway. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at this one. Get out all of its packets. Okay, so look at this. It's gorgeous. Look, look. Oh, oh, look at all that spark. Right, put it down, Liz. Put it down. Right. So, look at this picture. Let's give him a bit of a flatten out. So, it's a summer robin. Oops. Bit of an oily plastic cover there. It has got a little bit creased in its journey, um, but again, puts it under something heavy. Oh, you can't iron the back. Um, there are lots of ironing videos on YouTube. I've got a few of my own. The best way to do it is obviously iron it before you've put the gems on. <laughs> you don't want to melt your crystals. And if you are going to iron it, then maybe just do a little test piece in a corner first. You know, maybe down here that's not actually on your picture, just to make sure your iron's not too hot. But yeah, they can be ironed. They are a canvas. Um, sort of a, well, yeah, they do have a bit of a material -y feel, these. I think they are more of a plasticky canvas. But anyway, just give them a try. And, ooh! Look, this one's got uh, a pattern on it. That's like the old flock wallpaper that we used to have many years ago. Yeah, you just about see that. Very strange. <laughs> Shame it has to be cut off. But anyway, I suppose I... Oh, gosh, this is the crafter and card maker coming out in me. I suppose I could save that and use it as a strip on a card. I bet if you put ink over the top, it would show through the different uh, shapes more. Anyway, stop it, Liz. We're looking at the diamond painting. <laughs> Can you tell I've been watching a lot of crafting telly um, while I've been poorly? <laughs> I keep I keep saying, no, no, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. And, I, and when there's nothing on, um, I know the Olympics has been on, but it's unfortunately not really my thing. I know a lot of people like watching all the sports. I did years ago, but I'm just not as keen on watching it sort of 24 hours a day at the moment as a lot of people have been watching a lot of um, YouTube crafting and crafting channels and things and just thinking oh I could do that and I could do that but yeah I need an awful lot more energy and more hours in a day at the moment 
<laughs> so we've got a little key code down here. Uh, there is 10 colour yes. crystal codes or gem codes on it. Uh, but that's okay. It's such a beautiful picture. We can live with that. I'm just looking here. It is just the um, the kit number there. Look, you'll find that uh, most gems will have a kit number somewhere on the bags so that you can match them up. So if you do separate your gems yeah. canvases, then you can match them up together. I think the thing that brought me to this canvas as much as anything was the fact that it's a lovely big fluffy robin. And it's a summer picture rather than it being a winter picture or a Christmas picture or, you know, all snow and everything. Now, do we think he's already had a drink of this and he's thinking, do I want any more? Mm. Or are we thinking, mm, he's looking at that thinking, I wonder if I can sit on that glass edge and uh, just have a drink of that. Looking at his eye and looking at how fuffed up he is, I think he's maybe been uh, tasting this cocktail. <laughs> So we've got a lime and this could be mint leaf. So maybe it's a mint and lime. Co Is it a mojito that's mint and lime? I'm not sure. I'm not up on cocktails at all. Uh, yeah, but I just think this is really pretty and he's so gorgeous. I just love the way he's so big and fluffy and he just stood there look, with his little feet. I mean, he must be quite a small robin, actually. I mean, it look, he obviously is big on this picture, but if you think about how big the size of your cocktail glasses, then this robin's not going to be all that big, is he? Because they're not very big, are they? It's just the size of the picture. And he's brought his pencil, which is a bit of a worry. So as he tasted this and that, oh, I like the taste of that. I'm going to write the recipe down. <laughs> You've forgotten to bring your notepad, though. <laughs> Dear. It is just so pretty. We've got a few petals down here and we've got all these limes, lovely zesty limes. I wonder if we're going to have the zesty coloured crystals in this for the lime. We seem to get it in most uh, special drill paintings at the moment. And then we've got these gorgeous flowers. These look a bit like um, wild roses, don't they? Mm, very, very pretty. But oh, he is gorgeous. He really is a pretty robin. And we do have robins all year round. People tend to think they only come out at Christmas, but we've got um, robins in the front and back garden. And they're very, very nosy and quite sort of friendly as well. You know, if you put in some feed in the bird feeders and things, they come really, really close. Um, I'm sure if I put some in my hand or whatever, eventually I'd be able to train them. Um, to come onto my hand but I don't want them to get overly friendly because we do have quite a few cats around here as well so I want them to still be quite wary you know I don't want to, anything to happen to them because they're such little cuties oh but look at that that is just gorgeous so yeah 40 by 40 wonderful quick measure oops so we are 35 centimeters which will be oops 13 and a half 13 and three quarter inches so your standard size uh, for the 40 by 40 canvas with the picture in the middle but oh, i could just sit and look at this all day it's absolutely gorgeous it's gonna have to go on the wall somewhere where i can just sit and look at it and just think yeah the only trouble is though that drink is not big enough at the moment we are having a bit of a heat wave in the uk well a heat wave in uk terms anyway it's very humid again um so if you can hear any noise in the background unfortunately that is my little fan going so i do apologize um but yeah it's just so warm today uh, so i would probably want the jug that that was made in rather than just that little drink <laughs> i know i'm greedy <laughs> Right, let's have a look at these gems. Oh, I just want to pick him up and cuddle him. Do you think he's been to a festival because he's got like a little star on his cheek? Yeah, he's just decorated himself. <laughs> okay, right. And the price of this one without any discounts is uh, $5, uh, sorry, £5 pounds and 81 pence. Oh, look, we have got the lime green crystals. Yay! <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at these 10 colours. Oh, look how sparkly and clear that they are. So that's our clear crystals and our lovely amber coloured crystals there and a very pale pink for the flowers. And that's like a very pale brownie bronzy colour. And there's our lime green again. 
and some purple oh they'll all be the flowers and then oh look teardrops they're like the um pearl teardrops with an iridescent coating on very nice and then we've got some dark purple teardrops with an iridescent coating on some marquees in silver with an iridescent coating and some marquees in green with an iridescent coating so yay let's have a look where these specials go then i think we can see these little teardrops these white ones uh number seven which is a oh there are all these flowers here Oh, so instead of having teeny tiny teardrops, we've got large teardrops. Oh, lovely. And then B is all around here. So, yeah, looking at this painting, you would think that these are all small, the little teeny tiny teardrops, but they're not. They're all the larger ones, look. So, oh, that makes it just a little bit easier to do. And then we've got C, which are all on the Robin's little uh, chest here, look, and on his tummy all around there and his little flower on his face he's definitely been to a festival and been painting flowers on his face and then just to join in um, we've got green ones uh, all on the limes all over there so wow oh i really like this it's so cute that is one big fluffy robin if you're gonna have a robin you want a big fluffy one <laughs> let me just move you to one side mr robin and we'll have a look at the big one this is a set of 50 by 60 special drill diamond painting i do love my special drills i do like full drills as well when we did our 30 by 40 challenge in june you know i enjoyed doing the full drill diamond paintings as well but i do like doing a good special <laughs> oh don't want to come out this one hang on and it's just got a little bit creased in the post it is only mainly the edges but with it being poured glue it will flatten out nicely anyway so let's get this one open oh look at the size of that it's only just fitting on my desk oh and it's all bagged up as well oh i love it when it comes all bagged up so with this one you don't even need a pair of scissors wow that is excellent and we do have crystal and gem codes on all the bags as well yay oh there's lots of colors on this one right let me just put those on one side for now pen boat and wax our standard toolkit and let's see let's see it's gonna have to go this way i'm afraid so you might just have to tilt your heads <laughs> So it is, uh, let me have a look, it's 23 different gems and colours. Look at that. It is this gorgeous lighthouse at sunset with all that beautiful colour there. And then all the dark rocks down here, but all with flowers on. And a couple of little boats. At first I thought that was a shark, to be honest. It looked a little bit like a shark. No, it's a boat, Liz. It's a nice, peaceful painting. We don't want somebody shouting shark. <laughs> I don't know whether it's me that's just too weak at the moment. But I don't seem to uh, not be able to put the, canvas, the uh, cover sheets down very well at the moment. Keeping them flat. Right. Mind you, this is a bigger painting, I suppose. Oh, a good flat just helps if you just flatten out the top cover sheet it just then ha helps the creases at the bottom and um, to keep flattening out as well so i'll do it a little bit more once i've stopped filming so let's look at this in two parts then because that'll fit on the desk better won't it look at that lighthouse that is just stunning with all that colour with the sun. Could be either sunrise or sunset. I like to think it's sunrise so that we're gonna have a lovely, beautiful, sunny day and keep all that colour and happiness going. So yeah, the lights though, yeah, look, the light's still on in the lighthouse, but you can't really see it uh, flashing now because the sun's come up and it just looks wonderful. And then we've got the darker rock underneath there. And our two little yachts, they're not, they're not sharks, they're honestly not sharks. And then all of these flowers at the bottom, look at that. 
this although it's partial and it's special drill it's going to take quite a bit of doing there is a lot of gems on this all of the sea has got all the different blues in it but look at all these marquees that we're going to have oh and we have got some teeny tinies there look i think they are going to be teeny tinies so yeah 23 different gems and colors so the gem codes and crystal codes are on the bags but they are also on the canvas as well well oh my goodness me this is wonderful but yeah 50 by 60 and i have got a frame as well that this will go in so yay it's a definite happy picture right, let's give it a quick measure i shall try not to sniff as well because that is something that i seem to be doing quite a bit so we're probably when it's flat probably about 21 and a half oh inches <laughs> that just got me <laughs> Try uh, doing centimetres, Liz. We've already done inches. Tell you my brain's not working at the moment. We're probably just under 25. Sorry, we're probably just under 55 centimetres. Yeah, you're losing your five centimetres with the border. It's pretty standard on a pod drill canvas. Uh, we're about 17 and three quarter inches that way, which is just round about about 45 centimeters so, yeah, it gives you a good chance to um frame it put a board around it or whatever um or as say cut it out put it in a frame i would think probably just a black background on this would make everything else just really stand out just that darker background just to make everything pop i mean you can always you know if you want to if there's something that you really like and you're going to keep it in the frame um you could always take it and have it framed properly you know get them put uh, they are a canvas they are a, a picture so you know you can get them framed uh, by a professional framer which i am definitely not <laughs> so yeah but isn't that wonderful and um, the price of this one is normally eight pound 35 and then obviously there's your discounts or whatever off if you qualify for all your discounts and uh, people will notice them and you do get lots of sparkle and they're happy pictures as well uh this i suppose this is more of a peaceful picture isn't right. it let's have a quick look at the gems on this one i love the fact that it's all in little bags it's wonderful yay <laughs> Yeah, so it's kitted itself up. Um, oh no, they're going out of order. Right, let me just put these down as you can see. Everything's just a little bit warm today, so the top cover's sticking to my arms. <laughs> so we've got these lovely gold crystal marquees and some red crystal marquees. So they're going to be all your larger big flowers down here. So although it's quite dark coloured this, we have got some very bright colours that are going on it. We've got some purple teardrops, which are very, very pretty, that are on the flowers as well. And oh no, we've got the teeny tiny reds. So they're going to be all along here. Wow, nice and clear crystals these. Some uh, large round faceted gems there. So we've got all the middles of the flowers all dotted round. And some... Uh, large rounds have they got facets on yes they have so again they'll be a dotted round in this bottom part here okay and then we have your standard silver crystal very nice very clear trying to keep these in order but uh, whether they will or not i don't know somebody's gone to all that trouble to put them in order in the bags and i've dropped them and they've gone everywhere <laughs> Oh, look at that one. That's a lovely, like, turquoisey blue colour there. Very pretty. And a pale blue. And we have a hot pink. Yes, we have a hot pink. Lovely all in the sky. And then we've got this lovely grassy green colour. And a pale lemony gold colour. And a deep lilac -y colour. And a sky blue colour, possibly for the sea. And a deeper blue colour. Yeah, they're probably the sea down here. And then we have another gold there, a bit more of a honey gold. Oh, lots of reds. So we're uh, red sky at night or red sky in morning, whichever. Actually, that could be a little bit pinky colour 
it's like a pinky red actually yeah yeah it's uh what number is it oh i'd have to look that up wouldn't i because it's got the crystal code on not the dmc code right and then we have another lovely blue look at that bright blue and a lime green we're definitely lime green in most paintings these days <laughs> A gold colour, lovely. And I make sure I'm putting these in the right order. And then a very pale lilac -y colour. A paler pink colour. And a paler gold colour. Another lemony gold. Hang on, where's number one gone? Let me just double check. There it is, look. There it is. Put number one at the front. So, yeah, excellent. Loving this. It's uh, going to take a little bit more doing, as I say, but, yeah, a few more nights. A few sort of sunny nights with the sky all red. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Or is it red sky in morning? Sailor's warning, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Not quite sure. I can't remember which way around it goes, but let me know. <laughs> I've definitely got COVID brain at the minute. Things just aren't staying in. <laughs> I just love the fact that people are now doing the special drill, the larger ones, rather than just your little 30 by 30s and 30 by 40s. Because they really are a statement piece and they really do show up. But uh, Robin is definitely happy. I mean, who's not going to smile when they see that Robin? <laughs> He's just so fab. <laughs> huge thank you gbfk for sending me these i absolutely love them um i've loved all the special drills that i've done in the past so i'm sure these are going to be just as good quality and once i've got them done i will show you them uh, on camera and we'll possibly do a kitting down on this one because we have got the gem codes on it so yeah 23 colors wow that's brilliant huge thank you gbfke for sending me these two fantastic large special drill dam paintings well i suppose this one's super large which is wonderful possibly the largest i would want to go because of wall space as much as anything if i get paintings that are too big i literally have nowhere to put them and then i think it's such a shame if you spent hours working on a painting and you haven't actually got anywhere to hang it up They're just too good not to be on the wall aren't they I don't need wallpaper in this house. I just need a big house, I think. <laughs> I'm more friends with wall space. <laughs> okay, well, as I say, I've had this parcel a while and huge thank you uh, to GBFKE for the patience waiting for the video to come out. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family, see what we get up to next. There will be lots more happening on the channel once this horrid leggy has gone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you want to join us, then if you press the subscribe button down in this corner, an all notifications bell pops up. If you click on that, then you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you won't miss anything. And as I say, there's lots of exciting stuff coming up. Um, I've got more unboxings to do. I've got things that I've bought myself. And there's lots of other things going on as well. So <laughs> thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.